know she's misbehaving now. Yes, you're not even behaving. I'm talking about talking. You're not even doing it. I'm not even insulting you, babe. I'm not even insulting you. You don't have to be insulting. What are you talking about? You're so rude. Let somebody else be. Hello guys, <laughs> first of all, I want to laugh, you guys know why I want to laugh, because for two days now, I have not spoken about Big Brother on this channel, you get why, because, you know, Big Brother game is just starting really slow, you know, for the past few days, it seems like everything has been going slow, it seems like the housemates feel like they came to the Big Brother house to do like a town hall meeting, so the, everything has to be jelly wildly, just going, you know, slowly, slowly, no drama, no nothing, Every, all of them, they've been lovey-dovey with each other, trying to cooperate trying to do this trying to do that and even giving themselves the best housemates because they don't quarrel they don't fight according to some of their conversation not knowing that this they are loving doing is building anger and resentment inside some of them's mind and today some of them they let it out on each other hi guys my name is Vicky thank you very much for tuning on my video to watch please 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 subscribe to the channel like the video and leave your comments in the comment section is the best time to subscribe to the channel just join the family let us have this one together so apparently today the housemates they've been really busy trying to do their checker stacks you understand like the housemates they've been busy from early hours of the morning and up until much later in the day you understand and from nowhere you know um Kayode, we don't even know i truly do not know how the fight started because Kayode's camera was not at the table where the fight actually started but from the discussions of other housemates and um, you know going on Chinwe was having like a face off with Chizoba and we could hear Chinwe telling Chizoba that she's stupid she's this like calling her names and she, Chizoba was like go on and then they, they started you know you know confronting themselves apparently from the rumor going on it feels like a GM she, uh, Chinwe was passing and then she heard them talking about the clique of people sitting on that table we are talking about her and she was like what are you guys discussing about me you understand trying to say that she's rude and all that and all that and then Chizoba was like yes you are rude and that is where the whole drama started like it felt like Chiz uh, Chinwe had a lot of things to say that was in her mind to Chizoba maybe there was some sort of resentment you know building up already even before today and they actually let it out on each other and then her friend and Zion we are trying to pull her out of that gathering you know when you're having like a confrontation with people and your friends are trying to take you out of that place they shot took her out and we're like it's okay it's all it, 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 don't go back there again don't be angry and she was like yeah she's not angry anymore but she just needed to tell her that she was stupid she's a fool she's a this she's a that and i'm satisfied that i have told her my mind <laughs> and all that and all that and i'm like i don't understand why are you taking this thing from zero to hundred when you guys were doing lovey dovey in the whole house making it feel as if you guys do not quarrel there's no need to quarrel you guys are lovers you're all friends whereas there's a lot of things going on in your mind and then from nowhere too we're still watching the program boom kaya they took the camera where money was having like a confrontation with onyeka <laughs> Now, these are the checkers, you understand? Onyeka and Chizoba, their sisters. Chiwe had a confrontation with Chizoba. Now, we are seeing Wani and um, and uh, Onyeka having a confrontation, you know, going at each other, telling, I, I guess from the story, they said that somebody said somebody was stingy. I don't know if it is Onyeka that was saying that Wani was stingy, you understand? And Wani was like, why didn't you say it to my face? Blah, blah, blah. Uh, no, I mean, it's Wani that said Onyeka was stingy. But there is somebody that is stingy in the conversation that brought the confrontation, you understand? And they started going off at, like, the fight was just i don't understand whether today was the day where everybody was like you know what if i perish i perish we have to fight maybe due to the fact that oh the house have been so calm like ebuka said there's been no drama in the house so everybody's looking for the opportunity to create one drama or the other or to get one highlight or the other i don't understand do you understand 
and then at the tail end of the confrontation between Wani and Onyeka, Wani now called Onyeka the bitch word, dirty bitch, or whatever, whatever, whatever bitch. And Onyeka also re responded to her to calling her a bitch. You understand? So Handy and um, somebody were dragging her out of the place. And to be really honest with you, I really appreciate Handy because she was the one to rep reprimand her sister when she took her out. She was now like, Why are you calling her a bitch? Why did you say that? You know, trying to scold her sister that she shouldn't have reacted like that, she shouldn't have done that. Do you get so? I feel like the housemates very soon their true color will all come out, and then as if that was not even enough. We later saw um, um, um Chingwe having a conversation with DJ Flo, telling DJ Flo of how her relationship with Zion is going to end. That how would Zion? I guess Zion was having a conversation with her and trying to tell her to go and apologize to Chizoba, and she was like, she's not going to do that. It's rubbish. I'm done. I'm done. If you want to, want to create an image to say to, I will not admit what I'm. Forget that image wants to portray. And you know what? When you go home, you live your life. I live my life. I will not be stuck with a guy that keeps throwing me under the bus. It's not possible. Zion started carrying his face, you understand? And then she was angry. And she also told DJ Flo in that conversation that um, Zion threatened her that if they live here, they are going to break up like it's over between the both of them. It's simple. I will not do that. Next thing is carrying face for me. So what? I should be getting up and down. No. Let's be real. And you know I'm upset. You just upset me. You're telling me, let's go back our bags. But just know that once we leave here, it's over between both of us. They threaten me and break up me. We break up. Let's break up. I'm not doing anything. Let's, 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 because it's not obvious that we are not compatible. We can't be together. We have different ideologies. And that's fine. I'm like, hey, hey, hey. Like, are you even sure this relationship is going to survive out of this house with the way it is going because i feel like a relationship that has not gotten up to five months and then they brought it into the house where they will be living and sleeping and waking up together every damn time seeing each other's face being in each other's face in each other's business all the time is going to really test that relationship i don't to be really honest i don't even think that relationship might function outside of the house because there's a lot of drama chaos between the the zimwe couple between the zimwe pair you understand between zion and chinwe because a lot of housemates have been having conversations you know trying to talk behind them chinwe's back that chinwe has been controlling of zion and you know zion is also not the type of person you see to be honest the whole living in one house i've started showing who they really are to each other like she would say that it's obvious they are not compatible and she does she doesn't mind them going their separate way but my point my question is if you guys are now trying to go your separate ways when you've not left big brother house and you came in together and you have not yet separated with the house or big brother have not separated you guys to play your game individually how are you going to survive as in how are you guys going to you know team up against the other 13 pairs that are in the house or the other 12 pairs that are in the house because if there is a division between the both of you then there's an issue this game might not end well for the both of you so i don't know what you guys are thinking i feel like the zion and the children's relationship uh, i don't know I, I i really cannot say now i'm just trying to be very neutral i, I don't want to be judgmental of the chinwe or be judgmental of the zion but i think that for sure the both of them have different ideologies they see things differently chinwe seem to be like the bass boss as in no i give it to you hot hot and zion seems to be like the calm wanting to make peace there's no need for the rift there's no need for the drama we can take it easy we don't need chaos and all that and chinwe also like being in control or in charge well, I don't even know. What are you guys thinking? Do you think that this relationship is going to last to the end of the game or even outside the game? What are your thoughts about the Zimwe relationship? And did you guys see the bad buzz that happened? Anyway, guys, I'm sure that a lot of things will begin to unfold in the coming days in this particular show because they are, I think they are done with the pretense and everybody is building up, tension is building up and we are about to see more. Thank you so very much for watching the video. If you enjoyed watching this, leave your comments in the comment section, drop your likes and subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed. I will see you all in my next video.